In this video, I would like to show you the manual pressure test of the breathing system. The VETA 5 machine can pressure test the circuit automatically, but the VETA 3 doesn't. Hence, you need to be able to perform a manual pressure test. Nevertheless, even after the automatic pressure test of the VETA 5, I recommend also performing a manual pressure test from time to time. Despite the VETA 5 is designed for automatic pressure testing, a manual pressure test is still possible and useful. At first, you should properly assemble the whole braiding system. So make sure that the ACGO button is switched into the correct position. Check the domes of the one-way valves that they are secured in position. Check this selector valve and put it into manual rather than to automatic mode. You should have a soda lime canister which is filled up to about 70% of its volume with a sufficient quality of soda lime. Then secure it into position, make sure it's airtight. Then you should pick an appropriately sized breathing bag. You should calculate roughly one liter for every 10 kilogram of body weight and round it upwards. Secure it into position nice and tight. Then you pick your choice of breathing hoses. These are paired hoses here for this purpose. Plug it in to the inspiratory and to the expiratory hose uh, port. And then you have two choices. Classically, you plug in the Y piece with your finger to make the system close airtight. But here you have this pipe on the VETA 5 machine which helps you doing this uh, job. So you can uh, just attach it here and close the Y piece airtight. It frees up your hand. It comes with a trick though. This pipe is covering the Y piece itself. So if you have a small crack on the Y piece, it would be covered by this pipe and it would pass the pressure test even though it leaks. So how can you detect this problem? Very simple, just have a look at your Vipis and you will see the crack. Or if you choose to test the system with your finger, that reveal if the Vipis is leaking. For now, let's just use this pipe. It makes the pressure test so much easier. Now, as the system is nicely assembled, let's do the actual pressure test. We are going to pressure test this system at about 30 centimeters of water pressure. If you have an old-fashioned APL valve, you, then you just close it completely. But if you have such a nice uh, calibrated APL valve as the VETA 5 has, then you can put it to 30 centimeters of water position. Make sure that the flow meter is completely turned off. It is a mistake to leave a flow on during the system, during the pressure test. Now, we are ready to start filling the bag up. As you see, this is empty now. I'm going to press the flush valve to fill this up. You hear there is a hissing noise? So oxygen is flowing, but the bag is not filling. What's going on? You see, the fresh gas flow selector is in the wrong position. The ACGO button is left in the on position. I intentionally did that to show you how the pressure test can diagnose this kind of a problem. So if you do this, the fresh gas is coming out here and your breathing system is without the fresh gas and you cannot anesthetize with it. Yeah? That was one of the purpose to do this pressure test to make sure the whole system is functional. So now we make sure that ACGO is switched to the off position, so fresh gas is going to the left direction into the circuit. And we repeat, filling up the bag again. And we press this button until the bag is nicely filling up and the pressure reaches about 30 centimeters of water. It takes some time because Currently, we use an oxygen concentrator, which is providing only this amount of flow, but that's all right. 
Okay, now the pressure is increasing. And it reached 30 centimeter of water. Now I release the flush valve and observe the pressure gauge. Because there is no inflow to the system anymore, the only outflow from the system is the leakage. And that's what we are testing. So if the pressure is stable, means there is no leakage. If the needle of the pressure gauge is slowly decreasing, it means you have a leakage. This case, it's perfectly stable. No wonder this is a brand new system. Why would it leak? It's perfectly airtight. This system passed the pressure test. In case you detect here a decrease in pressure, it means you have a leak. There is a way that you can actually quantify how much leak you have, and that's where you can use the flow meter. So uh, the leak is uh, a gas flow outwards from the system. So let's give him an inflow with the flow meter and titrate it exactly to balance out the movement of the pressure gauge and stabilize the pressure in the system. When you find that exact position, when the pressure gauge is stable, it means that the inflow on the flow meter equals the leak that is the outflow of your system. This way you can read the flow meter and this quantifies your leak of your system. And uh, it's commonly recommended that 200 milliliter per minute is the maximum leak that can be allowed in a small animal anesthesia machine. If you have a problem with that and the leak is bigger than that, you have to recheck the whole system again. Touch everything, make sure everything is in the right position, check everything, whether there is a crack. Check the airtight positioning of the whole system. Sometimes you find that it's not turned on tight enough. And you can check the breathing bag. I often used to pull it down a little bit. It reveals holes at the, at the neck part of the breathing bag. It's commonly getting more abused here at this part. And when they are getting old, uh, it's, uh, there can be holes there. So you can, you can reveal it if you pull it a little bit down. And if you see that the breathing bag is not perfect, I immediately take them off, rip it apart, and throw it away. Don't give it the chance that anybody else will use it later on. So after your machine passed the leak test, some people might just open YPs. This is not good because uh, the pressure would decrease instantly and there would be a flush of fred fresh gas uh, coming from the soda lime and it could mobilize toxic soda lime dust and push it into the breathing circuit and offer it for inhalation for the patient, which is obviously not good for, for the lungs. So what should you do instead? Gradually open your pop of valve and release the pressure. This way you do not have the fresh gas uh, puff and also you test your pop of valve that it actually opens. A faulty pop of valve may not release all the pressure and you need to know about that. You need to fix that system before you connect an animal to it. In this case, the pressure decreased to zero. This system perfectly passed the pressure test and the APL valve is also passed its test that it released all pressure. My name is Dr. Tomasz Ambrisko and I'm a veterinary anesthesiologist. Thank you for watching.